Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. Um, I was playing around with the FT857 um, on HF at home, which is not something I do very often. Um, quite enjoyed playing around with the 857 in the car, um, out mobile. Um, but um, not something I do very often from home. So I thought just for, uh, just for a bit of fun, I'd uh, play around with the 857 at home on HF and uh, see what it's like. Now, I tried to have a QSO with some guys earlier on and uh, on 80 metres. They use 3605 here as a bit of a chit-chat channel locally and it was very, very difficult uh, with most of the stations to, uh, to understand what was going on. S uh, a couple of stations were very strong and uh, no problem at all, almost like this into VHF. Um, but the majority of the stations that I heard were right in the noise. Now what I wanted to show you was the um, the difference in noise levels on the different bands. Now I've got the noise blanker off uh, there's no dynamic noise reduction on or anything like that this is just uh, just to give you an idea of the... Uh, I, I managed to fiddle around with it a bit and, and it wasn't too... It wasn't so bad but um, on some of the stations but uh, I'll just show you the um, the noise that I had to uh, deal with on 80 meters now what I'm what I want to do is rotate the uh, rotate the channel knob without upsetting the focus if I can okay obviously VHF 146 700 that's the output frequency of the local 2 meter repeater at Raleigh Stone and that's not on at the moment and when it is sounds bloody good sounds like a radio station Uh, this is 7093, which is a uh, 40 metre chit chat channel in uh, Western Australia. And you can probably hear that da da dee da in the background. Uh, the CWV, which is Vladivostok apparently. And um, there's a Russian military station. And it just sends V over and over and over again as a bit of a channel holder, frequency holder. But as you can see, the noise doesn't even register S1. If you look at the, if you look at the display, um, there's an S in the bottom left-hand corner, just above NB. Uh, that's signal strength, and um, it's not even showing S1 of noise. Okay. Now this is another frequency uh, on 40 meters that I've programmed in um, because uh, one of my regular viewers, Aid, um, has this. Uh, uh, this single frequency in his uh, portable HF radio. So if you watch this video aid, I've programmed it in and uh, I'll catch you on there one day, mate. As you can see, um, letter S, no noise. 7153. Um, 10.133 now this frequency uh, one of the local fellas told me that there's some guys or a guy uh, out and about mobile up in the north of the state I think that's using this frequency so I thought well I'll stick it in one of the memories and when I'm when I'm flicking through the memories if he's there I'll uh, give him a shout as you can see no noise now there's no tuner in line this is just the uh, just the antenna and the radio so there's nothing restricting the uh, uh, the response, the the uh, the pass band, 20 meters. As you can see, no noise. Band might be a little bit flat because normally on that frequency there's a, a beeping noise. It just goes beep, 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 beep. Oh, you might just be able to hear that in the background. And apparently that's another Russian military station, if you can hear that beeping. Every now and then there's a burst of data that goes along with that. Now, watch what happens when I switch to 80 metres. It's, go it's going between S7 and S8. Earlier on it was going S7, S8, S9 of noise and that's what I was trying to listen to the guys through yeah 
So huge difference, and uh, it was just very, very difficult trying to hear the guys through that, uh, th through all that noise. So uh, I, I gave it up as a bad job. But uh, very disappointing that the rest of the well, it's it's good that the rest of the bands are really quite quiet and usable. But 80 meters, um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awful. Uh, unfortunately, so I just thought I'd do this video and uh, show you the difference between the uh, the noise on the different bands and at uh, my QTH here in uh, uh, south of Perth. And um, I thought uh, if any of the local guys watch this video, they can see what uh, what I was having to contend with trying to uh, trying to hear them. And it may very well be that they have the same uh, um, the same noise where they are. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the noise on 80 meters, but um, it's just uh, no, it's just unusable, I reckon. The stations have to be very very strong to be able to hear them uh, comfortably. Anyway, all right. Well, uh, as always, I hope you found that uh, interesting or uh, or useful. And uh, I'll uh, uh, I'll catch you next time. As always, thanks for watching.